Hello everyone, Kevin Gurgler here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Kaspersky Internet Security. Um, I have the trial edition installed on this virtual machine, and we're going to be putting it against some ransomware samples that I've used in my previous videos. Um, we have 148 ransomware samples, I believe. These are known um, ransomware samples out there. Some are new, some are old. So, um, as you can see, some were from 2021, some are from 2017. So there are quite a few different um, samples out there that are available. So we're going to go ahead and put this to the test here in just a minute, and we will be back with you. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, our protection is at risk because the file uh, shield is turned off at the moment. So we will go ahead and do a database update just to ensure that we are currently up to date with the latest definitions from Kaspersky. So it is downloading some new definitions and we just got the latest ones. So we are good to go on that aspect of things. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our file shield. Now I've been having some trouble with this because it's actually scanning the files even though I've set up an exclusion to this folder. Um, so I do have it set up so that it only scans on execution. And in addition, I also set up an exclusion to prevent this folder here from uh, being scanned. So it's going to exclude the scanning portion of this um, folder so that we don't get um, all of our files deleted before we can run them. But as I said, I've been having some issues with this. So we're going to go ahead and try it once again and see what happens. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes and save that. And we're going to turn on our file shield and hit yes. And normally it continuously deletes these items. And we'll see what happens here. So it's not deleting anything yet. Uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, Process Explorer. And we will start executing these to see how things work. So you can see now it's actually going through and deleting all these items. Uh, that's the scanning shield. So I'm not sure why it's deleting them. Um, the As I said, I do have an exclusion set up, so it should not be scanning those items. And also I set up the um, shield there to only run on ex, uh, execution. So these files are not being executed at this point in time, so I'm not really sure why they're being deleted. Um, if we go into the log here, of Kaspersky. Uh, let's see here. Not sure whether log reports, maybe yeah, reports. So if we look in the file shield, it's saying that um, explorer.exe is actually opening these files and it's being detected that way. So I guess we could set up an exclusion for explorer.exe and see if that makes an effect but I don't want to modify it too much because I don't want it to affect the um, the test results when we do run these so we'll just go ahead and start running them um, we're down to 122 items so all of these actually did get deleted by Kaspersky um, so we'll go ahead and start running these one by one you can go ahead and enjoy the music and enjoy the video I don't know where I am I don't know where you take me I don't know where you take me Follow your trail and I'm losing your mind and I'm losing your head Let me escape from this some love cause I'm a prisoner I just want to look my
Okay, so as you can see here, we just ran all of those files. Um, system still seems to be clean, even though that one actually opened. Um, nothing actually popped up or nothing happened in the system itself. So there are five items left. Let's go ahead and run a scan for this. Um, as you can see, it ran through. It's saying zero file scan. So, okay, there we go. So we just scanned all of those items and it's showing no items that were found. Uh, with that being said, we are going to take a look here and see. I'm going to look really quickly in the reporting and see all of these threats that were deleted. So I'm going to see about possibly doing a second portion of this video again um, in this same video. Uh, but excluding explorer.exe so that it actually is not deleting these files prior to me running them. Um, so let me go ahead and get that set up and I will be back with you guys in here in just a minute. Okay, so I did go in here and set up an exclusion to explorer.exe and that's going to be excluding the scanning portion. The problem with this is the file antivirus is actually what is scanning the file. So if we disable that, that is actually what our protection is against the system. So I don't want to exclude that from anything just so that we can get um, some legitimate results without actually excluding the file antivirus shield. Um, so with that being said, we did get um, 127 samples even though I went through and um, re-extracted them. It did delete a majority of them because I had 148 I believe so it did extract and remove quite a few so we'll go ahead and run these again and uh, enjoy the music. Okay, so as you can see, um, once again, during this second test here, um, there were still items being removed even pre prior to executing the files. Uh, that's a bit concerning to me that um, Kaspersky's interface is set up to only run on execution. However, these files were not being executed yet, and they're already being scanned and deleted. So I'm not sure why that is, or if there's a bug in their system, or what's going on there. But it's actually not allowing me to run all these files, so that's... A bit concerning, as I said, as the settings are set properly and it's still not uh, allowing me to do what I want to do with it. So let's go ahead and just quickly run a scan here through the rest of these items and we'll see if it finds anything. And you can see here in the bottom right corner, active malware detected. Um, so it's telling us that active malware is detected, disinfect, disinfect, and restart the computer. So we'll do that here in just a second after the scan finishes so we can see. Um, I'm not quite sure. See, so it's saying a 304 files scanned. There's only 21 items in this folder, so I'm not sure why it's scanning. That's on that W32 um, Solidity EAE. So we'll go ahead and let this finish up real quick, and we'll be right back with you. All right, so we actually just stopped the scan because it was stuck on that um, Solidity, which is actually down here in the active malware detected. So we're going to go ahead and click on this disinfect and restart the computer, and we will let the uh, Kaspersky internet security platform do its thing, run the scan, and 
run memory scans and see what's going on and let's see what will happen once we reboot the computer so we'll be back here in just a minute okay we are back here from the restart and as you can see the microsoft windows troubleshooting wizard has popped up we will go ahead and click search for damage caused by any malware activity let this run through really quick and see if it does find anything um, so here are some items that it's going to do uh, so we'll go ahead and hit next and it wants us to reboot again we will go ahead and reboot and we'll go ahead and scan that folder for the remaining ransomware samples to see if it finds any of those items and then we will run a full scan with kaspersky to see what the results are and then we will also run second opinion scanners with uh, malwarebytes and hitman pro so let's go ahead and see what happens here once we get back into windows all right and we are back here in the um, desktop of windows and let's see what's going on now so kaspersky's loading up and as you can see it's saying our protection is at risk for seven issues um, these are all the items that are in the um, ransomware folder uh, this one I believe yep so it's showing all these items being malicious so let's just do a scan here and see what it does and as it's going through it's scanning all these items so once again it's scanning 329 files I'm not sure why because there's only 12 now in this um, folder so we'll go ahead and let this run really quick and see what happens we'll be back here in a second okay so it shows now there are uh, only five items left it removes seven objects so that resolved that issue there now we are alive with protection and in the green phase so let's go ahead now and run a full scan with Kaspersky internet security and we will see here what happens um, whenever we come back and we will also install Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and run scans with those applications and see what they have to say. So stick with me here for just another second and we will be back. Okay, so we are back here and Kaspersky Internet Security just finished the scan. As you can see, it's stating that the system is safe, there are no threats detected, and it scanned a total of 292,000 files. So I did go ahead and run uh, Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro in the background as well. Um, Malwarebytes did find a... Um, type of malware that's a machine learning malware that was in the ransomware file so that would have been the smash.exe this one so that one is also detected as malicious um, then on the hitman pro side of things i also ran that scan um, the win32 uh, solidity.ae is showing malicious and that one actually ran um, but it must have gotten caught in the uh, file antivirus filter because that's the one that actually prompted us to disinfect the system. So overall, um, Kaspersky did a pretty good job, didn't let any ransomware through. Um, with that being said, this wasn't a precisely good test because it was deleting the files previous uh, to me actually executing them. And as I stated, the settings on the application are set to only scan those items that are executed. So I'm not quite sure, like I said, why that is occurring, why it's actually scanning the files prior to me opening them or executing them. So that might be a bug within the Kaspersky system. Um, and then I did also set up the exclusion for the explorer.exe because it was showing that that was being scanned um, additionally. So uh, even after doing that, it still actually did not allow us to run them. It deleted a majority of them. So that's always good that it, it is deleting those on demand. Uh, prior to them being ran so that is a benefit there and uh, that'll be doing it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please do comment like and subscribe to the channel um, if you guys have any concerns or questions please comment them below and i will respond to you as soon as i can in addition you can check out my tech blog it's techformality.com and it specializes in tech guides tech news and tech reviews and if you wanted to private message me on there, you can go to the top right corner. There's a contact button. If you click on that and fill out the form, I will get an email and I will respond to you as soon as I possibly can. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.